Walter, Angel Face, my office. <laughs> now! Sport is about working together, pulling as one team. Tying up Mrs. Creature is not a sport, Dennis. <laughs> Next week is the annual triathlon against Grey Towers Prep. Our school hasn't won that in 20 years. Ah, but this year we will. Because you three will represent Beano Town School in this year's competition. <laughs> what? Us? Team up? With these losers? Now, now, I want you to prove that you can pull together for the school and make me very proud. Choose a captain and get training, Team Beano Town. You three are the triathlon team. <laughs> I know, Curly, I know. But maybe with a strong captain, someone with talent, charisma, someone like me! There's only one way to settle this. A pie face off. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever gets the pie will be captain. Get ready, get set, get pie! <laughs> 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 be prepared to follow my lead, loser! <laughs> Operation Dash Landing! Dash! 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 Yes, I'm the captain of Team Beano Town! Woohoo! And I'm the captain of Grey Tars. Hey, look, Jules, look, Gemma, our competition. We usually jog up and down Mike Beano to train. I don't think we need to bother. Not now we've seen you smelly little oiks. Hey, Walter may be smelly, but he's no oik. That's right! But no, uh huh? Oh, looks like the triathlon trophy is ours. Again, little losers. Losers! Oh, how very dare they, smelly oiks indeed. I've never been so insulted. And I thought you were pompous. Nobody calls me a loser and gets away with it. Right, we're going to swim harder, run faster and ride better than ever before in the history of the triathlon. Who's with me? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, sounds sweaty. Come on, we can't let them beat us. We're Team Beano Town. <laughs> Walter, you leave me no choice. I'm sending for special ops. <gasps> The games begin! <laughs> Just imagine you've got itching powder in your swimming trunks. <laughs> what? Oh, as if I would. Walter and Gemma, on your mark. Get set. <laughs> <laughs> Do you 
congratulations to Gemma. First round to Great Towers. <laughs> <laughs> Gemma, one nil to you. It's Jules, actually. Oh, hang on. You're... Mm -hmm. Round two. BMX trials. Good luck, all. <laughs> oh, bravo, bravo. Beat that, Beano Town loser. I can beat you with my eyes closed. <laughs> Dennis, what happened? Uh, the twins used a magnet to mess with my bike. That's not all. Gemma didn't finish the swimming. That slimy Jules did it for her. Yes. Oh, okay, team, we've got to win the final race. Who's with me? Game on! Don't open this till I tell you. I'm on to you, cheat. <laughs> Cheating forever. Listen closely. <laughs> what? Go back the way I just came? Until Nasha Nash the tires. That's a serious allegation. Do you have proof? Yes, we do. Nasha? <laughs> that's the snorkel Jules, not Gemma, used to win the swimming. And that's the <laughs> magnet they used to make my BMX crash. <laughs> do, do, do let him nash me again. <laughs> I'll tell the truth. We did cheat. <laughs> Right, well, in that case, Grey Towers is disqualified. This year's triathlon winners are Team Beano Town. Hang on, if the competition's over. <laughs> you, oh, give me that! I'm the team captain! <laughs> Not anymore! <laughs> Not anymore! <laughs> You know the rules, Dennis. No pets allowed in school. <gasps> oh, quick, Paul, hide. It doesn't apply to potatoes, pie face. Classmates, 
I hope you'll all be voting for me to be this year's class prefect. We wouldn't vote for you if you were the only kid standing. <laughs> and you are the only kid standing. No one else wants that boring job. Boring? I think not. Helping teachers beat school rules is what I was born to do. Yeah, tell him, Walter. Fit for Walter. Fit for Walter. <laughs> oh, Sausage and Mash Monday. Oh, but you're banned, Nasha. Unless... <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. One bite for me. And one for you. You need a haircut, Dennis. School rules say hair should be no more than ten centimetres long. So <gasps> Lucky me! <laughs> In 30 seconds, Dennis. That's a record even for you. Hey, no hair over 10 centimeters, no pets in school. What's the third one? No sausages flung into the teacher's mouths between 1 and 2 on a Monday afternoon. How am I supposed to know that? Huh, it's in the rule book. Learn them all tonight, or it's detention every day until you do. Brilliant! I bet there's rules in here that I haven't even dreamed of breaking. Ah. Rule 409, no fart powder in the dinner hall. Rule 410, no skydiving in assembly. <laughs> you sing just like Walter. <laughs> Listen to this. Rule 411, the class prefect gets to bring a pet to school. It's a really old rule, mate, so Lord Beanoworth's son could bring his tiger to class. <laughs> If you were prefect, you could bring your pet to school. Nash, Nash, Nasha! Yeah, but then I'd have to be the teacher's pet. <laughs> anyway, I've got a much better idea. Time for Plan D of G. Voting is today, so if nobody else wants to be class prefect... Prepare to grovel my subjects. Uh, um, I mean, uh, I graciously accept. Hang on, there's someone else who wants to stand for class prefect. You? I'd rather eat a cactus. Phew, Dennis can't stand as class prefect. The rules say prefects can't have had more than five detentions. He's had 500. Which is why our candidate is... Paul. A potato? No, 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 Dennis. That is a pet. No pets in school. Well, you said yesterday that rule didn't apply to Paul. Then it's time to change the rules. But, Headmaster, the rule is nonsense. He's a potato, a spud. A chip. <gasps> There's nothing in the school rule book that says potatoes can't stand for class prefect. Enough, all of you. Clearly, we need to change the rules to disallow vegetables. Thank you, Headmaster. A triumph for common sense. But the rules say school rules can only be changed by a majority vote at a school meeting on the third Tuesday after after a full moon, provided there's a J in the month. What a stupid system! Can we change it? Well, yes, but only by a majority vote on the third Tuesday. So what you're saying is there's nothing to stop Paul standing for class prefect. Oh, it seems not. Don't worry, miss. I'm fairly confident I can beat a root vegetable. Very well. May the best man... Or potato. Or potato win. <laughs> Vote Walter! I'm efficient, respectable, and a stickler for rules. What more could you want? How about a bit of fun? Let's put an end to Walter's waffle by voting for Paul! <laughs> no bikes in school, and any candidate who breaks school rules is immediately disqualified. <laughs> The potato's out! I win! Ha! But Paul didn't break any rules. He's over there. Hello. Detention, both of you. Eh. Oh. 
<laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. Detention's a small price to pay. When Paul wins, he's bringing a pet to school. And that's gonna be you! Nasha! Nasha! Aha! You're trying to ruin my campaign so you can bring your stupid dog to school! Not at all, Walter. It's just that Paul's clearly the better candidate. Ha! <laughs> Nonsense! What on earth is a potato good for? <laughs> Town School. I'm asked to name one thing a potato is good for, and I give you chips for your fish, mash for your sausages, jackets for your cheese and beans. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm clearly a better candidate. For one thing, I'm smarter than a potato. <laughs> oh, really? What, six times five times four times three times two times one times zero? Oh, oh, oh carry the one. Oh, oh. Psh, rubbish. But Paul got it right. What? Paul said nothing. And nothing is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's a better athlete than you two. Oh, what nonsense. I bet you he can reach the end of the playground before you can. You'll run on three. Three! <laughs> I'd like to see a potato get there before me. Potato three, Walter nil. I've had enough of this. I'm turning you into mash. <laughs> 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 Utterly, utterly ludicrous! It's a potato! A potato! Do you want all the other classes to laugh at us? Thankfully, sanity prevails! That prefect badge is mine! Psst. Looks like we'll have to rely on our top secret plan after all! Yeah. Something. Let me see. See what? You mean these plans? I yeah. wouldn't do that if I were you, Walter. You'd need the agility of a cat to get up there. And you've got the agility of an elephant. Hmm. The agility of a cat, eh? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he'd fall for it. <laughs> Grab those plans. Walter. Yeah. I'm shocked. These are plans for cheating to win the election. Walter. Ooh. These are not mine! But I caught you red-handed! Literally! And, miss, isn't bringing your pet into school against the rules? And aren't rule breakers disqualified, miss? Hmm. Walter, maybe you're not a perfect prefect after all. What? No! <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like there's only one candidate left, miss. We have a clear winner. Your new class prefect is Paul the Potato. Oh. Yeah, give it up for Prefect Paul! Woo! <laughs> you know this is only till they get the rules changed. Yeah, but it'll be fun while it lasts. Speaking of which... Everyone say hello to the class prefect's pet. <laughs> oh, you horrible hound. <laughs> Don't be a bad loser, Walter. You didn't stand a chance against Team Menace. <laughs> Sorry, didn't see you there, Dennis. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. 
Oh, you're toast, Walter! <laughs> Oi, you! This week, miss. It's Monday, and you've been late every day this term. The rest of you aren't much better either, except for you, Walter, 100%. Perhaps people would make more effort if there was a proper punishment for being late, miss. <sighs> You're right, Walter. Anyone late for school this week won't be going to be no tone fair. Aha! Aha! Quiet! <laughs> Make Walter late for school. How? He's never been late for anything in his life. There's no way Dennis is coming on that trip. Whatever it takes, I'm going to make him late for school. Uh, isn't he always late for school anyway? Shut up, Bertie. Shut up, Walter. Yeah. <laughs> I think I may have an idea. Just put... Paul, what have I done? Huh? He won't fall for the window trick again. We need to think of something new. Right. Think, think, think. Think, think, think. Heave! Heave! Aha! I have it. Move that brick. <laughs> 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 
emergency, Father. Send it immediately. Hey? Eh? Huh? An old school menace. <laughs> <gasps> Punctuality is so important, don't you think, Miss? Unless you're Dennis, of course. I know I am. Unfortunately, Mrs. Creature has banned me from using the helicopter again. But no matter. With this transmitter, I'm going to know all Dennis's pranks in advance. Pie face! How's a um, uh, potato thingy? Oh, he's still quite sore. Oh, dear. Maybe this will help. Wow, thanks, Walter. He wants to say thank you himself. Go on, Paul. Don't be shy. Hmm. We need to find something to distract him. What does Walter really care about? Guys, I think Paul's going to make it. <gasps> That's it. Walter loves his pet cat. So what I'm thinking is... for school if he thinks Claudius is missing. <coughs> Cat biscuits, Nasha. Nash, Nash, Nash. I've got you this time, Dennis the Menace. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> nash, 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 nash. <laughs> Brilliant! Claudius has taken the biscuit bait. <laughs> 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 Once again, Genius wears a striped jumper. Uh, Nasha? <laughs> oh, thanks, Dennis. Claudius loves these. <laughs> Don't be too late for school. <laughs> Nasha! One. Hey, Nasha. Boy! <laughs> Get him, Nasha! Nasha, Nasha, Nasha! Nasha, Nasha, Nasha! Miss, we're not late for school. Dennis! 